Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of uh, That's All Funny, where uh, we just talk about things, or interview people, or, you know, it, it doesn't really matter what we do, we just try to uh, have fun with it. Uh, um, I'm just here waking up, uh, went to sleep early, so I was tired, always fucking tired. And, uh, yeah, got homework to do, score to do, stuff like that, so we'll see. Hopefully about getting that shit done. Um, but yeah, that's, it. you know, it's the same old shit. It's just me being here, lazy piece of shit, trying to, uh, combat being lazy. <laughs> that's it. Uh, we'll look at the news. Um, cause there's, I guess a little bit, yeah, there's a little bit of news. Uh, apparently overnight there was a shooting in Tampa, Florida. Uh, everyone's trying to label it a mass shooting, but only two are dead and 18 injured in shooting during Halloween festivities in Tampa. And um, yeah, that I mean, that's good that only two died and 18 were injured. But apparently it was uh, two groups fighting at 3 a.m. as the bars and clubs started closing at night uh so everyone was like going out into the streets and then since they were the two groups are fighting like you know fucking the ones in michael jackson's beat it i imagine with the knives and shit someone pulled out a gun and started shooting and just you know that's uh unfortunate that someone would go that far Cause that's some pussy shit, but it's Florida. So what, what do you, what do you expect? Um, anyway, that's good that not a lot of people, you know, have passed. So that's, that's a good thing. That is, even though, uh, you know, it obviously could have been a lot worse. It always can be worse. Uh, here's another headline. Uh, syphilis and other STDs are on the rise. States lose lost millions of dollars to fight and treat them and i mean i'm trying to look at what what's up with this uh state and local health department departments across the u.s found out in june that they're losing the final two years of a billion dollar investment to strengthen the ranks of people who track and try to prevent sexually transmitted diseases especially the rapid increase of syphilis cases and uh, i mean dude look at how like sexually active people are right now <laughs> and, and i can see why we're losing the battle uh you know against sexually transmitted diseases like people it's like people are having sex with anything and everything and not taking care of it because all they care about is like the freedom to do it so yeah it's kind of like i don't know just disgusting uh Cause you know, they're these, these ways are all this shit's pretty sure it's easily treatable and easily preventable, but they're still on the rise, especially syphilis that can fuck you up from what I've read about it. But you know, I don't know why, uh, Oh, I was like, why is it showing this black woman? But she's like a disease intervention specialist uh from Houston who is trying to uh disease intervention specialist so they intervene in between diseases and they specialize in that. All right. Yeah, I'll take that. Um next on the docket here boxing uh from the boxing world Fury knocked down but beats Naganu on a split decision. So I don't know if anyone saw that Tyson Fury versus Francis Naganu uh, in Saudi Arabia, I think that's where it went down. I imagine, but it was more, it was more of a gimmick fight, right? One of these, um, like one of these celebrity bullshits, blah blah blah. Uh, but they had Fury versus Naganu in a boxing fight, and from what it looked like, Naganu was winning because he knocked down Fury pretty easily but i guess that's not true 
and you know he ended up winning after the 10 rounds on a split decision even though he was knocked down which i feel like once you're knocked down that's pretty much like okay you're you're pretty much like fight literally fighting for your life to beat your score but whatever what do i know about boxing i don't know how that works you know um but yeah i guess good for him and i don't know <laughs> i'm sure they both made some cash i'm sure the fight fix was on him so he was supposed to win uh but you know again it's whatever uh i feel like boxing is one of the most fixed sports you know well i mean, I mean you could fix anything you could look at fucking uh basketball and how close they are even though it's like well how do they fix that dude there's a lot of sports that uh i feel like you could fix uh with the referees or with the players or anything you know uh you could just fix it to make sure certain people win or at least get closer to winning but i don't know we'll see what happens with that next fight i know i was watching wrestling uh this is kind of on topic but not on topic i was watching wrestling the collision yesterday aew and they had a uh women's uh halloween match where it was like karushita versus abaddon and abaddon is like one of those wrestlers that never fucking uh gets a shot she's a, what they call a jobber where she just always loses but for some reason they let her uh take this match after winning a four-way uh, to get a title shot and it's like what the fuck why did they let her win oh, okay because it's a halloween match and they that abaddon's character is all halloween scary like and stuff like that kind of like Danhausen, where it's like oh um let's bring him out closer to halloween or you know have references of him but i like god damn i'm sorry i'm yawning so much i, I like dan Housen, though he's uh he's funny but <laughs> it's not really the whole point of wrestling of uh funny characters it's more of these larger than life uh you know characters but but i digress but i digress uh finally on the news docket uh, Matthew Perry, Friends actor, dies of apparent drowning at 54. And, yeah, I saw this yesterday. It was all rest in peace, rest in peace, rest in peace, rest in peace, rest in peace. But, um, that's pretty crazy that everyone keeps putting, like, they have, they, they're not putting, you know, he dies. They're putting he dies of apparent drowning. And, and it's just so strange the way that's worded uh that it, it's always worded apparent uh apparent drowning at 54 and the 54 is really young you look at someone like uh fucking rick flair uh, <laughs> the wrestler who's like fucking fucking like no like 70 something uh and he's st he's probably still gonna wrestle or whatever at fu what fucking AEW is staying uh you look at the president biden who uh no matter how many clones he has working for him or body doubles motherfuckers like 80 something right uh so perry was 54 uh a 911 call came at 407 and was treated as a water rescue uh they went to his home and there was a water emergency and yeah they're gonna conduct an autopsy to determine the cause of death but it's apparently apparently a drowning apparent drowning and i don't know i this sounds real fishy you know just the way it's worded and the way things are and i know Dude, this dude, Matthew Perry, coincidentally enough, he just put out a fucking autobiography last year. Like, like around literally a year ago, he put out a biography uh, about his life, you know, about all the shit he went through 
like he knew he was going to fucking pass or something, you know? And he just talked all the tea about everyone. And I know everyone, dude, There, a lot of people are putting out biographies right now, uh, talking all the fucking uh, shit about the people in their lives and, and kind of like canceling them in a, uh, you know what I mean? Not in a direct way, but in a biography way. Like you look at Britney Spears, you look at uh, Jada Pinkett Smith, this, um, I don't know, there's a lot of fucking uh, biographies coming out. I know Jeanette McCurdy put one out with her mom. Uh, what's her name? Uh, the Sporty Spice put one out. There's a lot of biographies coming out. It's very strange. Uh, but cool. I, I like hearing them, you know. Uh, I know um, I, I got some on audiobook, like um, the guy who uh, did the Nintendo president, Reggie Reggie Phil's a nay or whatever, and I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Uh, hmm. Uh, I'm looking at this ad that that I'm literally just talking about Audible, and the Audible ad comes up. Uh, it knows what to do. The algorithm, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, this is kind of uh, you know, uh, suspicious. So. We'll keep an eye on this Matthew Perry death, see what goes on. But I want to thank you all for listening today. That's another episode, another week of That's All Funny. I hope everyone's uh, safe where y'all are at. Uh, again, just search That's All Funny when searching for the podcast. You can find it everywhere podcasts are available. If you want to help support the site a little bit more, check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash Lorenzo Ariola. Uh, $5 gets you uh, everything bonus, ad free, and uh, we'll episodes uh, early. Uh, if you want to check out the YouTube, youtube.com slash uh, at Lorenzo Ariola. There's uh, other videos there and video interviews when I do uh, do do interviews. And if you want to buy any merchandise, uh, check out the uh, website retrohoring.com where we have uh, exclusive that's all funny merchandise as well as um, you can commission art from the great artist at retrohorry on Instagram so check that out I want to thank you all for listening uh, this week and today and we'll be back next week with more uh, funny things <laughs> take care bye Next. I need to eat